Uh, I'm out riding my bike. I thought I would hide a geocache. I shouldn't, but um, when I leave Korea, I'm going to divvy up my my hides among other geocachers. Um, but there's no geocache in this area. It's a really nice trail. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the coordinates at the head of the trail and then just tell people walk to the end of the trail to find the cache. And uh, I'll have to give a hint. It's uh, I, when I was in America, I bought a little uh, container that looks like something else. And uh, so if you, when you look right at it quickly, you know you don't really notice it's different from any other of the little objects around. I'm not going to say what it is because I'm not sure, but I think some of the Korea geocachers do watch my videos sometimes, especially if I put the word geocache in the title, they will click on it. Um, but it's out here. I might put this picture, picture that bridge, just so they know they're in the right area. It is the end of the trail. So I'm going to try that. And then I'm probably going to give a, a compass degrees from the start of the trail to here. Uh, so if they want to map it or, or they want to, yeah, I'll do something. I'll just, I'm not going to make it completely difficult for them. I just want to make it interesting. Geocaching in Korea is not really a, a heavy pastime. It's more of a light-hearted jaunt in the park. That's what they like. It's kind of what I like to. <laughs> Sometimes I like to push myself, but uh, not all the time. Sometimes I just want to enjoy going out and walking. I'm on, a, I'm on my bike today though, so I'm not really walking. And it is, uh, it is probably going to rain. It is July. And uh, if it doesn't rain on a day in July in Korea, it is a very unusual day. So I suspect I'm going to get caught in the rain. It's kind of misty right now, but well, I'll deal with that. There is a little fishing, what they call um, a nakshita. Um, it's a fake fishing place. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, this particular one is called uh, Sebong Nakshita. Nakshi means fishing and ta, I guess, means some kind of place. But here it is. Uh, you can see what they do. They, you, you, pay, you pay them a fee and this, this uh, pond is, is stocked with fish. And you can see their chairs. They're covered. You can get out of the sun or out of the rain. To me, this would be a great day to go fishing. But Koreans, I don't think they understand that rainy, miserable days are good for fish. Fishing, I mean. Anyway, that's a, that's a nakshita. Nakshita. And there is the uh, Sky Motel. This is a, uh, um, a, a, what do you call it? Where they catch water? A reservoir. Um, I'll, I'll show you as, we, uh, as I go back. This is a reservoir. If you can see over there is the uh, Sky Motel. So the cache is over that way. Kind of just like a, a regular pond that we would have back home in Michigan, except we don't have this kind of humidity all through July. This is the uh, start of the trail. This regular road goes up this way, but there's a, uh, a trail here. And what I have done, I have chosen this area right here as my GZ. Restrooms. And you see the trail goes all the way around and it's on those little bridges and stuff. And the, uh, I've lost it already. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, <laughs> the cache is uh, um, around the bend there. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, give the ground zero here, tell them to, uh, Follow this trail to the very end, and I will, I'm going to give them the um, the compass directions from here to there, so they can set it on their compass, 
It's 874 meters from here, straight. And I think I'm going to also put a note that a local geocacher maybe should make a series out of this because it's, it's a nice little walk. A lot of people are walking down here. Well, not a lot, but you know, a good number of people are walking down here. And there's a little restaurant there. A little Chilson Cider vending machine. Restrooms. Ah, it's a nice little place. It deserves to have a cache, at least one. Uh, I, put, I put mine at the very end of this trail. Well, for obvious reasons. Make people walk to the end. But you could make a series. Somebody could make a series out of it. I'm not. That's just... I, I'm leaving Korea, so there's no sense in me hiding a lot and then having to give it away. What, what I'll do is um, whoever finds it, I'll send them a note saying, would you be willing to hide a series here and take mine, take my hide as your own, adopt it, if you will. So that's the head of the trail where I, I was and uh, the cache is over that way. I wish I could see it. Oh, it's around that other thing too. Anyway, I'm over here where the, uh, um, the reservoir dumps and fast moving water going down here. Sorry for the wind. And it goes off that way somewhere. And then um, there's uh, rice paddies over there behind these signs. Maybe I can get a better picture. Well, because it's the rainy season, the little uh, gates are down so that the water doesn't escape too quickly. Wouldn't want to flood. I don't know, could you see it? I got little, um, <clears throat> when they were doing my mouth, they used some kind of bleach solution. And uh, it, the tip busted off and I got splattered with bleach on my shirt and in my mouth. So uh, they um, they comped me like a hundred bucks worth uh, of work at the dentist here, and <laughs> I had never I had never experienced it before a mouthful of bleach, and because my shirt was ruined, it's not really an important shirt, but they felt that they needed to comp me, so they did. <laughs> 